The Apple Watch has seen massive upgrades since its inception, going from unnecessary peripheral to a quintessential device I can no longer live without. So when Apple announced their rugged, powerful, top of the line Watch Ultra, I wanted to know, could it replace my iPhone and could I use it as my only device for a day? This is what ensued. So it's currently about 9.50 p.m. The Apple Watch Ultra is charged at 100% capacity and I'm about to head to sleep and turn on sleep tracking. So tomorrow morning when we wake up, we'll see how much battery we lost during the night. But tonight, this is where the 24 hours of using the Apple Watch Ultra as our only device begins. Let's see if we can do it. Good morning. It's about 7.45 in the morning. I just turned off sleep mode. The watch is currently at 82%, so that means we lost about 18% to sleep tracking, which is a little bit more than I was anticipating. The watch is clearly doing quite a bit at night. First thing on the to-do list, work out. So like I usually do, I started a walking workout as I'm walking towards the basketball court. So you're getting one workout in before the next workout actually starts. All right, so that is the first workout of the day done. <laughs> You know what I just remembered is that I brought my AirPods Pro 2 with me. So I'm going to put these on and I'm going to connect them to my Apple Watch and we're gonna to listen to some music. So it turns out they need a spray around the court and uh, I can't play here because obviously it's carcinogenic and poisonous for the human body. So, change of plans, we're gonna go somewhere else and finish the rest of our workout. Okay, so we made it to the beach. Let me pause this real quick. And uh, I think we're gonna go for a short little run now. We're gonna do maybe like a kilometer or two or maybe like a mile for my American friends. And then we're gonna do a jump rope workout. Oh, and a quick note, it's currently 9.13 and we're at 74% battery. So we're losing a lot of battery on these workouts, more than I anticipated. Stay hydrated. All right, running workout starts now. Three, two, one. Oh. So out of shape. 1.8k at 442 pace. Not too bad. I need to drink something. <sighs> okay, side note. I freaking love the custom button on the side that I can start and stop and pause workouts. So helpful, especially for running. I don't want to like swipe and miss it. You can just like pause exactly when you want to, like a regular traditional stopwatch. Okay, so post running workout, we're at 70% battery, so that drained about 3% while tracking my workout, doing GPS, and listening to music. Not too bad, but also at the same time, I was running for just over a mile, just under two kilometers, so it's not like it was that long of a workout. It's a little bit concerning. Next workout, jump rope. <laughs> oh man, I wonder why I do this to myself sometimes. But yeah, we're gonna start a jump rope workout. Okay, 11 minutes of jump rope, that was good. I'm out of water, I think that's a good reason to go home. Morning workout accomplished, we're currently at 68% battery and it is 9.48 a.m. So, let's get on with the day. Okay, just got home, pausing the walking workout now. Another workout for the watch to calculate. The game plan now, shave, shower, get dressed, and head out to the main island to get lunch with my friend, get a haircut, run some errands, and we'll just keep using the Apple Watch as their only device of the day. So update on the watch, it is currently 1040, and we are at 63%. All right, so while I was working out, I was on do not disturb mode, and here we're going to attempt to now respond to my best friend, DMing me on Instagram, we shall see how this goes. Cause there is the keyboard and there's the voice. I wanna try the voice right now and see how it goes. Dude, that anime looks so dope. I cannot wait to watch it. All right, that's not too bad. I think what we're gonna do, scroll up uh, with the wheel. Okay, edit, keyboard, delete, dude, you. 
delete, send. The voice accuracy on this is actually very, very respectable. Uh, the fact that I only had to like fix one word, not too bad. And the keyboard is very helpful. It's really kind and forgiving with the suggestive text and the messed up spelling on such a small screen. So I think it, it, it works. You can definitely respond to text messages and whatnot. Would I do an email on it? No, but I think it's, it's gonna be all right getting through the day. wonderful friends at Nomad sent over a new watch band, so we're gonna put this on, see how it looks. Not bad, not bad at all, I think it looks pretty clean. Also a quick update on the watch, it's 11.42 and we are at 57%. Okay, I'm running to catch the 12 o'clock ferry, and as usual, I'm late. It's currently 11.55, I have five minutes to catch the ferry. We just barely made it, boys. All right, we made it on the ferry with one minute to spare. I'm gonna be listening to my music now. We'll see how bad the battery drain is. Battery update right now. All right, so we made it to Hong Kong side and my lunch is at one o'clock. Hopefully my friend shows up, we'll see. But we have one very important stop before we go to lunch to one of my favorite stores in the world. All right, so that was a nice little successful haul. First purchase of the day. Successful with the Apple Watch. Everything seems to be going well. All right, so my friend hasn't texted me whether or not she is going to be able to make it to lunch, so I'm going to attempt to text her on my Apple Watch. Let's see how that goes. Hey, Alex. I wanted to know if you were going to be able to make it to lunch. Also, I am texting you from my Apple Watch. The dictation on that was absolutely flawless. I was not expecting it to be that good. I was, I'm wearing a mask, I'm in a loud environment, I was standing behind my camera, and it picked it up flawlessly. So, that's a win for texting from the Apple Watch. All right, so we made it to the lunch spot doing Taco Tuesday with some vegan tacos. I'm very excited. Unfortunately, my friend won't be able to join us, but hey, it's Taco Tuesday. Nothing can go wrong today. So update on the watch, it's currently just after one o'clock and we're at 50% battery. So that's actually not too bad. We're halfway through the day and we're at half battery. So that's not too bad at all. All right, so I've been doing a lot of workouts today and inevitably one of my friends was gonna say something because I am blowing up their phone and their Apple watch. And lo and behold, that moment finally happened and gave me the opportunity to respond via text <laughs> on the Apple Watch once again. I gotta put the watch through its paces. So I have about an hour and a half to kill before my next appointment. Uh, so I just ordered a coffee and I'm gonna do some video editing. I'm not gonna use my computer for anything communication related or anything I would do on my phone. I'm just gonna purely edit, no internet, no nothing. So my watch will continue to be my only lifeline to the world right now. Bon appétit. Thank you so much. Have a great one. All right, so lunch was delicious, and now I am off to my haircut appointment. So I'm very excited about that. It's been a while since I got my last haircut. As you could probably tell from my workout this morning, I am in desperate need of one. So, let's uh, go do that. So what I'm realizing is I actually don't know how to get to the barber shop from here because this is not the usual way I go. So this is the perfect opportunity to use Apple Maps on my watch. Now I've never been an Apple Maps guy. I've always absolutely hated it. But Google Maps requires a connection to the phone, which we cannot do. So Apple Maps it is. All right, well, Apple Maps did a great job of leading me here. I'm not a huge fan of the UI, but it did a good job. Hey. So, haircut went really, really well. The only issue was at the end there that the watch had a couple issues attempting to pay. It took us about four attempts. It finally went through, everything worked out. So that is, that's another success, using the Apple Watch to pay for everything. All right, now I'm going to attempt to call my dad only using the Apple Watch. Let's see how that goes. Hey Siri, call dad. Hello. 
Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I'm gonna hear you. I'm calling you from my Apple Watch right now. How do I sound? You sound fine. All right, that's good. That's good to know. Again, I sound good. Apple Watch is good. How how is the audio quality? It's fine. Does it sound like I'm on my phone? Does it sound worse? Does it sound better? That sounds fine. All right, well, say goodbye to YouTube for me. Okay, bye YouTube. So that was a resounding win for the Apple Watch. You can take phone calls. I don't know how much of my dad that you heard, but I heard him very clearly. It sounded like a slightly more muffled iPhone speakerphone call. It's great, especially if you don't mind the rest of the world listening in on you. But, you know, ideally you want a, a private conversation. But he could hear me absolutely fine. I could hear him perfectly fine. That's definitely a win for the Apple Watch and taking phone calls. All right, quick update on the watch itself. It is just past 3.30 and we're at 43% battery, which is actually really, really good. I think we've only lost 7% in the last two and a half hours or so. So clearly when you're not working out and using GPS and all those features, battery life is a lot better. Who would have thought? Before we head off to Wanchai, I do have to make a stop to pick up something at a different store. And we're heading in the direction of that right now. Unfortunately, they did not have the skincare products that I wanted, but we got something. But on to the next stop. All right, so we made it to Wan Chai. I am currently on my way over to the Logitech store to pick up the MX Master 3S. This will help my workflow when it comes to video editing and I'm very excited to test it out. So look for potentially a desk setup coming in the near future. Oh my goodness, perfect timing. My dad is calling me right now. Another another test of the Apple Watch. Hey, how you doing? Are you taking a 430 ferry per chance? All right, I will aim to catch that one, but I make no guarantees. All right, I'll let you know. Love you, Dad. Uh, another successful Apple Watch call. This thing is great. I have less than 15 minutes to catch the 4.30 ferry. It'll be a rush to see if we actually make it or not, but we're gonna try. Let's see if it actually happens. So here's my thought process, right? I could either run like Usain Bolt and catch the 4.30 ferry, or I could get sushi, leisurely eat my sushi, and then catch the next ferry. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> hey Siri, call dad. Hello? Yes. All right, I'm not gonna catch the 430. I don't feel like sprinting like Usain Bolt, so I will catch the next one. Okay, that means 520, dude. Yep, that's fine, I'll find something to do. Made it to the rooftop, got our sushi. We're gonna enjoy that until it's time to go. And we finished our sushi, so now we're just going to leisurely walk to the ferry pier. All right, so it's just about five o'clock and the watch is currently at 38%. So we made it through more than a nine to five with quite a bit of working out and quite a bit of public transportation and paying for stuff. It's made it through the day. I have no worries that I'll make it home with at least 30-25%, so that'll be good. Had to get one more drink before going home. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Alright, I just wanted to let you know I made the 520 ferry, so I'll be home soon. All right, bye. All right, so I just made it home and I am exhausted. So it's just past six o'clock and the watch is at 33%, which, you know, we did an entire day and there's still battery left over. 
probably enough to get us through sleep tracking for one more night. We'll see when it comes to bedtime if it says charge before going to sleep or not. But the fact that we started the day off with like 82-83% because of sleep tracking the previous night, we actually only used about 50% throughout the day, so that's actually really, really impressive. As I was getting ready for bed, the watch did notify me that it needed to be charged to make it through the night for sleep tracking, so it didn't quite make it until morning without another charge. So what did we learn from this? The Apple Watch Ultra is an extremely capable standalone device that is able to replace your iPhone, as long as you're willing to make the necessary sacrifices to fit it into your life as your only device. You can respond to a bunch of different notifications on the watch, texts, emails, Instagram notifications. You can do it on the keyboard and the great dictation function on this watch. Is it a bit of a hassle? Yes, but it can be done and that is really, really convenient. I would totally recommend this for quick texts back and forth or something that's not really important, but I wouldn't be using this in a long, very important text message thread or a professional email. On top of that, not every app is native to the Apple Watch. So even though I can receive certain notifications and I might be able to respond to some of them, if I miss it the instant it comes down, I'm not actually able to respond because there is no native app. So that's quite a big issue if you have to rely on other people initiating in order to actually have a conversation. I will say the call quality on this thing is absolutely insane. It feels like something out of Spy Kids or Star Trek because it's just amazing having a crystal clear conversation on my wrist. If you pair this thing with AirPods, it works flawlessly. You get all your playback controls. You can listen to the music that you've saved onto the watch itself, which is one of my favorite features. I was able to pay for everything and board public transportation only using my Apple watch which is super convenient and a definite win but that's something that you're going to see in big cities that have the infrastructure to handle that but can you truly use the watch ultra as your only device no it's not practical and in certain situations it's just not possible here in hong kong we have to use the qr code scanning to make sure that we can enter any building with our covid vaccine pass and because this doesn't have that ability I need to bring my phone with me. So that is something that you're not going to get around if you're only using the watch. And the cellular capabilities of this watch are going to drain its battery life even more, so you probably won't even make it to the end of the day. But it is absolutely amazing seeing how powerful and how useful these little computers we strap to our wrists have become in everyday life. But we're not quite at the place yet where this can be your only device. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Mark Steiner, and I will see you next time.